One of the coolest things you can do as a lead guitar player is learn how to tap with your sweep picking. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Now I know combining these two techniques can sound a little overwhelming at first, but I've developed this very specific method to help me get better at this technique. And now I wanna share that with you. <laughs> Guys, before we get started here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and ding the little bell. Now, there's two sweet picking patterns that we're gonna go over with the tap included. If only that was beer on tap. But I'm gonna break each pattern down so that you can learn these in what I call micro steps. And this is just gonna like help you excel very quickly in doing the taps with sweet picking. All right, so let's start out with the two patterns. I'm just gonna play them kind of slowly all the way through, and then we're gonna break this down, okay? <laughs> Now, what I want you to do, instead of playing that all the way through, okay, we're just going to play that last piece of it, which is the tapping part. So, here are the notes that we're on right here. Now, remember, we're not picking that note on the 14th fret there. You know, we're going 10, then hammer on, hammering from 10 to 14, and then, of course, we're kind of hammering with the tapping finger as well. Now, step two to learning this is I now want us just to play those last few notes, actually the last four notes of the sweet picking pattern that we're doing here. So it's going to sound like this. Now, step number three, let's combine what we just learned. Remember, you started out with that tap. Then we played the last four notes of the sweet pattern. So just include that tap in there now. Now what I want you to do, you've got those last four notes with the sweep that we just played. I want you to now go back, okay? So here's what I mean. Now, what I want you to do right here, I want you to stop and I want you to just play that through, but you know, play it as a pattern. Don't stop, just play it through like three or four times and keep try to keep the same tempo throughout. The tempo can be slow, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're just we're just getting our fingers used to you know going to the correct places here. So let's play that. I want you to play after you practice that a few times. And if you need if you need to pause the video right here and just go through that, please feel free to do that. Just click the pause button, go through that pattern a few times, and you can pause it where the tabs were so you can see it. But go through that a few times, memorize that. But now once you come back, I want you to play the entire pattern all the way through with that full sweep picking pattern, okay? <laughs> Now we're going to go through that same process, but we're just going to play a slightly different pattern. But remember, we're going to start out with just that, that little tapping part, the hammer on and tap at the end. So that's going to be these notes here. So just get used to doing that. Alright, remember step two is we're going to play those last four notes of the sweep picking pattern, which are these notes here. Now next step, we've got both those parts down, we're just going to combine them together by adding that tap to the end of that on that 20th fret. Now 
now I want you to just play that pattern, but then go the opposite direction, you know, with that down pick or up I'm sorry, with the upstroke. <laughs> Now for the entire beast, we're going to run through that entire pattern with everything that we just learned, okay? Alright, lastly, I want you to combine both patterns together, so let's try to do that, okay? I'm going to play through these really slow, and then we'll try to just speed it up just a little bit. Now you gotta admit, adding the tapping with the sweet picking patterns, those sound pretty freaking cool and they're fun to play. So I encourage you to practice these over and over because we do get better through repetition, of course. Now, if you're actually playing a guitar solo using this technique, if that's all you're doing, if you become overly fascinated with that, that's gonna sound boring after about 10 seconds. So I actually have another video I want you guys to watch and it's called Melodic Sweet Picking Patterns. I'll put the link up there and I'll also put a link to that video in the YouTube description of this video. So definitely make sure you check that out. So guys, feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have on these patterns. And remember, if you wanna support me, you can buy my music and merch on my online shop. It's at jasonstallworthshop.com. I'll have a link to that website in the description of this YouTube video as well. Guys, as always, until the next video, keep it metal.